So how come um, you ended up supporting Blackburn? <laughs> well, because my um, it was 1993, or maybe it was, yeah, no, 92, um, just before <laughs> they won the Premier League, uh, and they had... They had all my favourite players and everyone at school was um, either Man United or Liverpool and I didn't want to support a team that everyone else supported. And then and then they had Tim Flowers, Colin Hendry. I mean, even even um, Graham Lasso, he was he was one of my favourite players. <laughs> Probably the only person in the world to have Graham Lasso as a favourite player. <laughs> Do you still have the um, fantasy league going? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, I always make a really bad start. It, it, it used to—I used to win every year, but now it's like there's there's thousands of people who do it. So I'm I'm lucky if I get in the top hundred. I'm doing I'm doing okay this year. I'm doing I think I'm about three hundred thousandth in the world, which That's is not really, really yeah. not too bad. Yeah, I think I'm well below that. I had a really bad start, and then this girl at, at work who was like dominating our work league. So I was asking her about it. She was like, oh, yeah, "I use FPL Scout all the time to tell me who to pick." What? <laughs> so I've been having a look at that, and it is helpful. But I don't know if it, I don't know if that's classy cheating or what, really. No, I don't. You know what though? The because I I had a season where I was looking at it all the time, and I started doing really badly, and and then the second I stopped looking and just started going back on like. I think because I actually I finished like two thousandth once what in the world. I mean, I don't know how, but it was the season that I paid the least attention to what anyone else was doing. So I'm trying to get back to that. The same people always ended up being at the top, don't they? So there must be a certain skill to it. Yeah, well, there's a guy. Um, his name's uh, Jay uh, Edgesdorf or something. He's like he gets he always gets interviewed for these things because he's never. I think he's done it for like. 10 or 15 years and he's never finished outside the top 10,000 or something crazy right. so if there's anyone who uh, but he's actually he's not even doing that well this year I think he's like 150,000 but yeah I always kind of look to see what he's doing yeah I'll have to join the horrors one next season I keep forgetting to do it yeah yeah do it it's fun I mean it's uh, it's, it's like I said very competitive so you know yeah. serious business I was watching an interview with you on Soccer AM where you said the winner gets a lock of the Horus hair. Is that still the case? <laughs> yeah, I've got to take it without them knowing, though. That's part of the prize. <laughs> that's that's really a prize for me, to be honest. But, yeah, so I guess I win either way. That's I think that that, um, that Soccer AM thing was probably, um, without exaggeration, probably the, the the highlight of of any achievement related to music. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely nailed the penalty kick. I was so happy because you couldn't even hear it on the camera, but but they were for, they didn't like me in the studio. I don't know. There was just a thing like a weird vibe in there. And um, when when the cameras were off, the presenters went really cold, like wow, just weird. Like Neville Southall was great. He was like you know really cool guy. Like. I don't know, kind of like a granddad figure, you know. But the presenters were so fucking weird. The second the cameras went off, they were just like, I don't know, like it's like I, you know, like I'd done something to a member of their family or something. It was, a, <laughs> but yeah. So they were. So people were actually like kind of booing before I went to take the penalty. <laughs> That's why. Oh, I just went in. 